So. I am literally in where the creek is supposed to be. And it's very sad out here. Man, I'm just like stepping in this muck. And there are literally hundreds of fish out here, just dead. I'm literally standing in the riverbed. I'm literally standing where I caught my creek monsters, where the creek monsters, the land of giants, was or used to be now there's nothing it's so sad wow there is also a bunch of litter all in this creek bed like can you even tell like there's literally a, there's literally a fishing net right there that was in the middle of the creek bed and i can i can tell you guys that all the trash in the creek bed has been here since before this whole thing got drained just Guadalupe Creek's a dirty place, so it's pretty dry back there, and then over here, it's like muck still, and I think this is like the last deep part where all the water just settled and dried up, because like, you can tell like, right there, right, right there, right there, there's a, that's a big pile of carp right there, that didn't happen on, on accident, that's the last deep part where the water, probably where the water last went, the last droplets of water they could get before everything dried up and like we seen I've seen carp out here and they have their heads like half buried in the water or half of them are in the water that's because when the water level goes lower than the the actual ground itself they bury their heads straight into the straight into the muck because it's all slush at that at that point in time it's all slush and they're just trying to get their last breath of oxygen before um, before they pass behind me the overpass it, there's some water because that's upstream. It's supposed to flow down that way um, But that's upstream. So there's a tiny trickle of water going into the last pool that's left and there's Barely any fish in there. I know there's someone there's like two three people over there right now Catching whatever they can on rod and reel and I think they're bringing it to um, Almaden Lake or the perk ponds that are down there um, to save them because Within a day or two, that's over there, that's gonna dry up. But they're doing that. They caught a nice bass, so that's really good. It is so stinky out here. But we're gonna go to Almaden Lake at the Almaden Lake Dam, which is the dam that feeds the water to this creek that's dried up to see what's up with it. So see you guys there. All right, we are headed to Almaden Lake Dam now. It's practically golden hour. Brings back memories of my golden hour carp fishing video, which if you haven't seen that, go check that out because that shows the Guadalupe River spot when it was filled with water. Well, made it to Almaden Lake Dam, there was no flow of water like it used to be. There's like a slight trickle, you can hear it when you're right next to the dam, but that's it. It used to be gushing out. There's like nothing now. The water over here is just slowed down, and this this part of the creek leads straight down to where I was, where the carp, the land of giants, well, former land of giants. But yeah, all right, the sun's going down. That concludes day one, and I'll see you guys at day two. Alright everyone, it's day two, we're going to the Land of Giants spot and we're going to see if the pool's still there basically. We're going to see if any uh, scavengers have got the carp and yeah, so let's get our boots on and get out there. Alright, so day two, we are back here at the little pool. You can see, here's that big, big, big old mirror carp and I saw a big, uh, not a big school, but there's a school of carp and my understanding is that's the last that's here in the land of giants down here guadalupe creek area and i don't know i brought one pole and all i have is a little grub on it i thought it was i thought most of the fish were gone out of here but it seems like there's a good amount here some stragglers that are still fighting for their lives so 
there's fish in here, there's life. And yesterday, day one, there was just a graveyard of carp. And I came back here today, day two, basically all the carp were gone and a bunch of turkey vultures were there. So they must have feasted last night. A bunch of raccoons probably feasted too in the night. So that's gone. And all that's left is this little pool here. And I did see a big school of carp here. So that is promising, but we gotta do something to save them or else they're just gonna die out, die out because there was a little trickle back there, back back there. There was a little trickle of the stream, but now there's absolutely no water coming into this pool and these fish are gonna die without our help. So let's see what we can do. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. I got a fish, ah, it came off. We had a bass, we had the big bass. Let's see if we can get it again. That thing just smoked this little grub. We got a crappie down here. We just got, we just got a crappie. It really in, just inhaled this little grub of mine. There we go, little crappie. These things are so rare here in the creek and Almaden Lake. There we go. Got a little crappie. Now, there's perk ponds back there, but I didn't bring my uh, bucket, so we're gonna release this guy and probably come back later and try to catch him, but. There we go, crappie, going back. All right, so I caught that one crappie, it had a big bass on. There's clearly fish in here still, and I don't know, I feel like it's only a matter of time before they run out of oxygen, so I'm gonna go run home. I'm gonna get some supplies and maybe try to catch a few and move them to a better place. So see you guys when I get back. Got my bucket and aerator, the poles and stuff. All right, folks, we made it back. All right, got a little grub on. Let's see if we can get any fish. There's two big bass just laying down there, right down there. Ooh, they moved. Ooh, some big bass though. All right, switched out to a little fly. Hoping to get really anything now. Oh, got one, got one, got one, fish on. There we go. Whoa there. Oh, beautiful. Pumpkin sunfish maybe? Or some kind of sunfish. It just smoked that. Smoked my little fly. Smoked it. There we go. This is the first little sunfish. It got pretty big mouse actually, but the coloring is beautiful on this. There we go. And the bucket's very heavy now with water. Time to bring this sunfish to the other body of water. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we made it. And this is where the people on day one yesterday were putting the carp and bass and stuff that they caught. You guys see the coloring on that? but we're gonna let him go in this this pond. This you can see, this is just ginormous in hopes that he'll have a better life here. Alrighty. There he goes. He's off. That concludes day two, and I'll see you guys day three. Almost forgot my water. Almost forgot my water. All right, everyone, it's day three. 
just pulled up to the spot. I brought the wagon this time and some fishing supplies, so we're gonna go and see if we can catch any fish and see how they are because the oxygen level should be depleting pretty rapidly at this point. So let's get down to the spot. I got some hamburger bun. A classic tribute to the land of giants. All right, here we go. I feel like this is gonna fall off the hook, but there's a sucker carp down there. Let's try the bottom part of the bun. Maybe that's a little bit more rigid. Oh, he's got it. fish on, fish on. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, don't get hung up, it's gonna get hung up. In there. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah, I missed this fight. Come on, come here, guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Nice carp, beautiful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta fill this bucket with water. I do have my aerator to keep him oxygenated. Give him bubbles. Right in there. And just put the lid on top. And then the bubble just stays like this. And we're good to go. This is the one, I'm calling it. Yes. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. Fish on, fish on. Ah, it's under the. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Maybe I should have let him fight more. Oh yeah. I got one, oh yeah. That's a nice one. All right, we got the cooler with our first carbon in the cooler. Now we're just gonna get this guy in there too. Look at this. Whoa, he almost doesn't fit. He doesn't fit, he has to be on the side. Oh, he took it. Fish on, fish on, fish on. He took it. Whoa, whoa. That one almost, almost snapped the hook. Snap the line. Come here, come here, come here. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Number three, baby, let's go. I'm gonna pop the lid. Yikes. And place her in. This one is hard fitting too. Those carp right there were literally eating a stick. Trying to eat that stick. Oh, it grabbed it. Fish on. Another one, I was just getting ready to leave.
Here we go. Got another one. This one is a smaller one. I was just getting ready to leave too. Just getting ready to leave. And look at what fit this one. Oh, got it. So, this one's going in. Put this on, with the lid on, it keeps them dark, keeps them calmer. All right, that one's fun. Whoa, 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 it's splashing out. Let me show you guys the big one. Just You can see the water behind me is the last water that's left of all Land of Giants. As you guys know, I've had so many memorable catches here. I even jumped in the water here to get a, a big carp. Safe to say that all those carp I caught are sadly now all dead. But we're, there's still a few stragglers left in this little puddle. And we've got four carp in the cooler that I caught here and I'm going to bring them to Almaden Lake and release them there. There's plenty of carp in Almaden Lake. For these guys, they need some buddies and also way more oxygen in Almaden Lake. And I have much more faith that Almaden Lake has a way less likely chance of drying up um, than this creek, obviously, and also the perk ponds that are just a walk down that way. But yeah, put this guy in the cooler. We got our aerator bubbler. All right. It's time to clean up, pack up, get this cooler in the wagon, put that, bring it to the car, get the cooler situated in the car, and bring it to Almond Lake and release these fish. So let's do that. We just arrived to the lake, just pulled up. All the carp are still alive. Right. Some did spill the splashing. You can see. Just a little bit. Nothing too bad though. We made it to the lake. Take a look at them. They are all still in there. Still nice and lively. Aerator's been doing its job, so let's take them out one by one. Let's go smallest to biggest, leave the best for last. So let's grab the first one. It's time to release this one in the lake. Revive him a little. And he's off. One down, three to go. All right, time to get number three out. They're still very alive because we had the aerator with giving it plenty of oxygen. It's time to let this one off. They look so majestic when they go. All right, next one. We're getting to the big boys now. Another beautiful one. They're so majestic looking. Time to release this one. It 
It's ready to go. There he goes. Beautiful. Thank you. He's just chilling down there. Last but not least, we have the big one. Gives you memories of Land of Giants and all my creek monsters. All right, time to release it. The big old one, big old carp. Wow, so majestic, so nice. We released four of the carp that we caught at Land of Giants. They will thrive in this lake. Uh, just so you guys know, these, these carp that I released here from Guadalupe Creek, uh, their species is all over Almden Lake. We're not introducing any new species of any kind. We're just adding to the population and they will do much better here because back in Guadalupe Creek, the water would have dried up and they would have ran out of oxygen. And that's a wrap. From carp to bass to bluegill to crappie, I'm truly gonna miss the land of giants, but let the drying up of Guadalupe Creek be a warning sign to all of us that the California drought is real. And the scary part is this whole creek has dried up and it's only the middle of June, summer's just getting started and the weather's just heating up. So make sure you conserve your water. And also we are slowly closing in on 400 subscribers. So I wanna say thank you so, so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Make sure you follow my Instagram too, at Anthony Fong Fishing. And thanks for watching and tune in next time. Cheers guys to the land of giants. Ah, that's good.